everyone, my name is Cincy Day. Today I'm going to be talking slash giving my review of Resident Evil Revelations 2. Now, I um, kind of waited to give this review only because I wanted to, you know, play the game. I beat it. I also did the uh, two extra episodes. The way I uh, bought this game is I bought kind of like the season pass, so it gave me the four episodes of the store of like the main game and then the two extra episodes that come with it now I really like this game I think it's a big like step in the right direction for the Resident Evil series like Resident Evil 6 was terrible god I hated that game so much I couldn't I couldn't beat it I couldn't play it anymore I did a try to do a let's play of it just could not do it because this game on the other hand is um very, very uh, well done, I think. Much better than Revelations 1, who, which was, a, I think, a port of a 3DS game. Of course, again, it stars Claire Redfield, which I really like her, only her, her face. Her face just doesn't seem right to me. Moira, uh, Barry's daughter, and the, 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 the four main characters are Claire, Moira, Barry, and Natalia, who you meet throughout uh, playing the game. Reporting for duty. Mr. Again, how the game is set up is that it has four episodes. Each episode is broken up into two parts. One part is with Claire and Moira, and the other part is with uh, Barry and Natalia. Now, um, I'm going to be making a video after this, um, just saying spoilers. So the, this this video will not contain any spoilers about the game. However, the next video that I do make will be uh, me talking about like. Spoilers really spoiling the game and getting into it and talking about how I feel about things that the game did. Hey, that Barry Burton's girl? Now, one thing off the bat that you have to know is this game is, uh, it's had doesn't it didn't have as big as a budget as Resident Evil 6 or RE5. And you can tell this by in the game, you can see like assets that were used. Like you see RE4 barrels, uh, it looks like some boxes that looks like uh, they were in RE5 and just the way that it's kind of you clip in through you can clip in through a lot of the environment stuff and even through um, you know the other characters and the AI at times can be kind of wonky uh -oh. another thing that we said is that graphically the game looks okay I mean it's not amazing but it's not terrible I wouldn't even be here if I listened now a part of this game is you can run and running in this game is um, is very difficult to do. It's not easily controlled, and uh, that's where I'm. To, I think that's mostly kind of like the things in the game that are kind of meh. Like they're not great. They could be worked on better to uh, achieve, and you know, I think a better game. But overall, I think this game is a good game. <clears throat> now. Well, along with the story mode, there's also this mode called raid mode, which I had played a little bit of, and I enjoy it. It's it's fun. It's fun. It's uh, basically where it's you can you, uh, from what I played, uh, you pick a character, you then uh, go in and you try and go through these areas, clearing out the zombies and reaching an endpoint, and you get experience, which would level you up, where you can get more uh, better weapons, upgrades, things like that. But Onto the uh, story of the game. The story of the game, I think, is very, very interesting, and I think uh, way better than the Revelations One story. I think how it's put together and how they how they create the twists and turns through the storyline is very, very cool, and I it, it, I think it's unique at some points. Now, I do think I I, I say this is better than Rory Six. I had said that, and I say this because. I had fun playing this game. I wanted to play it. It didn't feel like a hassle to play. It didn't feel like... It didn't feel like I just was pushing myself to play. Where in RE6, I just felt like that. I didn't have fun. I just hated playing it. I also got scared way more times than... I never got scared playing RE6. It just wasn't scary. Well, this game... I know there are times when I actually jumped back or like I could feel my heart just pounding in my chest and I was afraid. Which, which was uh, really cool. Now, another thing that this do uh, game does well, it could be it does it well, or I'm just a terrible shot, is you need some sort of item management, which I do, I love, and it's very essential to survival horror games. 
another uh, cool part about this game is how they break up the characters. In, in this game, you can switch between characters, kind of if you ever played the Lego, kind of the Lego games, you can switch between the both characters. Now, each character you switch um, has her own, his or her own unique abilities, such as Claire can use weapons where Moira can't. Moira won't use a gun, but she does get a crowbar. Moira carries the flashlight, whereas Claire does not carry a flashlight, and Moira can find hidden objects using the flashlight that Claire would not be able to find herself. Now here's, see as I can, as you're seeing, you can kind of tell that it, I mean it looks good, but it could look better, that's just because the budget, I don't think it had as big of a budget as uh, the main RE games did. But I think co-op in this game is really well done, like I was saying with the um, unique character abilities that they put out. Here's, here's the running that I wanted to show off. It's very hard to turn. Turning is hard when running. You can't make like sharp turns. You have to make them uh, wide turns, I would say. I think the animations throughout the most part are pretty good in the game. They're okay. They're not bad, but they're not, you know, great. I think enemy designs, there are some very unique uh, enemies, and, the, and the, there's cool ways how they do enemies, and one of the ways they do it is that if you kill um, a certain type of enemy, then it will affect what it will affect the other two characters. Say I killed an enemy, a, a certain type of enemy, I can't think of what they're called, with um, as Claire, then when it going through his berry, uh, killing that character might have certain things that happen during care uh, Barry's thing. Oh my god. <clears throat> fuck? Now um having beat the game, I never felt like there's a I did feel bored at some points, but that's just because I was kind of racing to beat this game to get the review out. I don't think that's the game, so I think that's mine. Yeah, I wanna, yep, yeah, let's get the knife. Here, this is one of something that I really liked. This could come in handy. And there's what I was talking about, Moira carrying the flashlight, whereas Claire doesn't. <clears throat> and that's uh, the melee attack. Oh, I love it so much. It just feels nice. Oh. I let's think see. there's a way through on the other side of the glass. Oh, upgrades, upgrades, yes. Um, I forgot about that. Is uh, throughout the game you can get um, these kind of upgrade boxes, and what they are is you know these boxes that you can equip, equip, or like unequip from any weapon that gives it like um, a higher higher things. Like you could get a higher damage or higher capacity firing weight and they go on levels like you could get a level one two three maybe four or five level damage in one of these boxes they can range from you get like a a common uh, upgrade box to a rare upgrade box and you also earn kind of uh, how would you call it experience so what i think they call it bp in this game that like after each episode or after each part in the episode that you can you can upgrade skill points that would help you in the um i think we can squeeze under this in the uh, game Go. Now, uh, the two extra episodes that come with it, also, uh, I, I, I played them, and I, I did enjoy them. They, they, uh, they Careful. left more, um, gave more light on the story and what had happened in the game. Um, the areas. See, you can see his um, kind of leg clip through the thing. But here's... Uh, uh, the first time you ever see an enemy, which I think is very cool, and it scared me the first time I um, I come through the area. But let's talk about and let's talk about uh, areas that you go through the game, and some areas are very well done. They're scary, whereas others are just kind of like normal, they're not too scary, but I mean they're cool to look at. Aim at this game for the longest time I didn't think was bloody and what I mean by that is the areas were just drenched in blood and had blood everywhere they're kind of like this rusty rusty metal -y kind of uh, feel like run down and dirty but as you get in the later game you will see some uh, I think more uh, bloody environments <clears throat> Holy shit, it's gonna kill me. now 
One game, uh, one game. One thing that this game does is it has a stealth mechanic in it, in that you can kill enemies with uh, st uh, with stealth with a knife. This is another thing I like is that is that it brings back kind of item management where Moira can pick up something like uh, ammo that Jer uh, that Claire can use and they can share it and stuff, which makes co-op all the more fun. Uh, the music in this game is nothing, nothing special. It's okay. Uh, however, the cutscenes, the cutscenes in this game, amazingly well done. I think they look the cutscenes in this game look amazing. Overall, if I had to rate this game, I think I'd give it, I'd give it an eight. I feel, uh, I, one, I feel it's a, it's a really good Resident Evil game. I think it's definitely a, in a right step in the direction that the uh, Resident Evil franchise has to go because it, it kind of went towards more action in Resident Evil 5, which I still liked, but it definitely took um, the action to a whole nother level in Resident Evil 6, which I didn't feel was uh, that was probably the worst Resident Evil game, I think, in the series. Anyway, guys, that's just my kind of little video I wanted to make just talking about what I felt about Resident Evil Revelations 2. Did you know her? Again, I'd rate it an 8 out of 10. Anyway, you guys can follow me on Twitter, you can or Twitch. You can also add me as a friend through uh, PSN or Xbox Live. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be doing a video right after this one, uh, so doing a big spoiler, my kind of spoiling the game for anybody who's played it, and giving my thoughts on what I thought about the ending, what I thought about certain things that happened in the game. So be sure to watch that if you've beaten this game and you want to know what I think about it. Anyway, guys, please if you like the video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys.